Well, in a sense, it felt a little bit invigorating to speak up to them and to tell them to get out. But at the same time, um, I was very scared of the anger that I felt and how it was taking them felt like forever to leave, like they were leaving very slowly. And I was afraid because um, the longer I looked at them, the angrier I got. And I, I don't want to catch any charges. So uh, I it took everything in me to hold back. Honestly, I I felt like my spirit guide was <laughs> up against my chest, pushing me back, like not pushing me, but like, you know, pressing me back. But I was fighting. <laughs> my, there was definitely an internal struggle going on. And then I slammed the door. They were uh, going through the door so slowly, right? And closing the door so slowly. And then I just fucking slammed it. You fucking better move your hand before I snap that wrist by accident. Slamming my door shut and just saying... And you know why I was so fucking angry, right? Because they should have been here about my teenage daughter that's in the psych ward right now. Not at my door for my two toddlers because I chose to visit my teenage daughter at the hospital and I didn't want to leave her alone. And like, oh my fucking God, man. That's not a child protection concern. Why aren't you concerned about my daughter? I just, oh, I felt so much fucking rage. Like, what are you even doing in my house? I felt like they tricked me because the way they worded it, you know, oh, call from Chio and well, this and that. Like, I thought, pff, I really thought that we were there to, you know, get serious about getting my daughter help. And they just wasted my fucking time and disturbed my peace. And made me feel super uncomfortable in my own home. And now I want to move. Because I don't want these bastards to know where I live at any point in time. So now I'm looking for another place. I mean, I need a bigger place anyways. Especially if Ali is going to be coming home. I was talking to Chio today. Um, it's looking good that she uh, is going to be coming here when she gets out of the hospital. So, fingers crossed. I'm praying that Ali has the courage to tell the truth. About everything that's been going on at her aunt's. Um, so that we can get her the help that she needs. And, and so she can be here with us. And then next is Mackenzie. But that'll all be in the court order. I'm not leaving Mackenzie out. Of course, you know, it'll be her decision. Because uh, she'll be 12 uh, soon. So, um, you know, we're still going to obviously put her on the court application though. We don't want her to feel, like, left behind, you know? I mean, seriously, I don't know how, as child protection workers or parents, they don't understand that. Like, my daughter, my 14-year-old daughter is begging me not to leave the hospital. You know, th that, like, I don't know what they expect of me, but that's uh, quite the position uh, for me to be in. <laughs> and, you know, <sighs> oh, my God. People like that shouldn't be child protection workers because they go against the new current mandate, which is preserving family families and helping them get the resources that they need. Fucking bullshit, man.